Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to use System Restore in Windows 10. Let's begin by clicking on the Start button and then type in RSTRUI. Now you should get this RSTRUI run command. Click on that entry and you'll see the Restore System Files and Settings dialog. Now, on this particular machine, system protection is turned off. So we're going to want to turn that on. We click on the link, and we can see that under Available Drives, if we click on Local Disk, see that where it says Bracket System. So it, it, if your system drive is different than Drive C, to, to click on the one that has the Bracket System on it. You want to then click on configure and then click turn on system protection and then uh, under maximum usage you want to choose a percentage of your drive to be used by system restore so uh, I have a quite a bit of space free on this drive but I am going to cap it at 10 percent I'm going to go ahead and click OK to that and now system restore is on so uh, generally, by default, System Restore would already have been on. But in this case, since it hasn't been, uh, we need to create at least one restore point. So to create a restore point, and uh, doing so is always a good idea, say, before you install new software or uh, even new updates, right? Uh, you can go ahead and click on the Create button in the lower right. And here you could say put the current date or whatever other information that you want. Uh, if you're creating a restore point before installing antivirus, for example, uh, you might want to just make a note to that effect, you know, like pre-antivirus, that kind of thing. And then hit create. And then the system will create a restore point. So. The restore point contains information about uh, all the software on the drive you're protecting and the, the settings of the actual computer, so like the registry, that kind of thing. It does not include uh, your personal data, so this is not a way to back up your documents or pictures, etc. That's not what gets restored uh, when you run System Restore. If you want to need to back that kind of thing up, uh, that's a whole different process. This is just for the system or the system state. So now that we have at least that one restore point, we can then uh, go through the process that you would go through if you needed to restore to a point, right? In the past, so to do so, you would click on this system restore button. Now you get the Restore System Files and Settings dialog. And it gives you the warning that I just did basically here. System Restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or other personal data. Recently installed programs and drivers might be uninstalled. And that's often exactly the reason why you want to run it. If you've put in a new driver and your system's, system is unstable, you want to go back to the old one, that kind of thing. So you go ahead and click on Next, okay, and you will get a list of restore points, okay. So you're going to choose one of those restore points. If you don't see, and each one will have a date and time associated with it. If you don't see uh, a date or time far enough back, if there are enough restore points in in the past, there will be a little checkbox down in the lower left here that says something to the effect of, uh, you know, show more restore points. So you can check that box and it'll give you a longer list if there are more available, right? So in this case, we only have the one. So we're going to click on that and then we're going to click on next. So just keep in mind, if uh, System Restore was on for you and all you wanted to do was restore to a certain point, uh, once you had this 
dialog box up, you can just click on the System Restore button and go directly to this part here. So now that we've selected the Restore point, we can click on Next. It'll ask you to confirm it, so it'll tell you some information about that. And it'll warn you down here at the bottom that System Restore needs to restart your computer to apply these changes. So that will be a part of the process. And this can take some time, right? Uh, depending on the system, speed, etc., uh, a system restore can take well over an hour. Uh, generally, in my experience, it's, it's significantly faster than that, but I have had uh, quite long system restores. So now we're going to go ahead and click on Finish. Another warning, once started, system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Uh, of course, we're going to say yes in this case, but uh, just make sure if it's a laptop or whatever uh, that you have the power uh, cable plugged in, right? So this, is, this could be a power intensive operation. And go ahead and click on yes. And then we get our preparing to restore your system dialog here. The system will restart when it's ready. And then you may get this notification about waiting. And uh, this bit here uh, where it says system restore is initializing, uh, quite often that takes a long time, right? So don't think it's stuck. Just uh, be patient and you know let it do its thing. Now we see the system restore is restoring the registry. So it's actually doing the restore at this point after initializing. And now the system is restarting. So ultimately, you want to see this box that says system restore completed successfully. And then it'll tell you uh, which restore point it was restored to. Now, when the system restarts, give this box some time to come up. It will either come up and say it was successful, or of course, in a sad case of it not being su uh, successful, it would say it was unsuccessful. But uh, again, depending on the speed of your system, etc. This box could take some time to come up, so you do want to give the system time uh, to do what it needs to in the background to uh, finalize and confirm uh, the success or not of the system restore. So uh, when the system reboots, don't start using your computer right away. Uh, give it some time uh, to figure out its full status, and then once you see this notice, uh, you know you can you can close that and then continue on with things. Hopefully this has helped you turn on and manage and use System Restore. Thanks for watching.